Hello everyone and welcome back to another action figure video and today I'm going to be going over some new updates to the background of my videos whenever I will post them. I have made a couple of videos but I've just decided not to post them because I'm still get starting out, you know, like with stop motion and getting better at it. So, uh, without further ado, or I don't even know why I'm saying that because I haven't even said that. I also have some figures that I want to show off. So, now, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so, I got these two figures. You can see the boxes back there. Um, and I'll get to the back. Well, I guess we can get to the back first. So, in the back, we have the crowd. You know, obviously, but I'm using like the barricades as the box, the special boxes that I am keeping. So I got those two new ones, the Batista one and the Cody Rhodes one. So what I have right now is I have Batista over here with the tribal chump sign. You can't really see it; it's like not focusing, and the red is kind of like faded out. Then we got Randy Orton with the TNT title. And Kevin Owens just sitting there in the back. Oh, hello. You can see my shadow. Um. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. So we got Rey Mysterio back there with a Batista shirt. Say, with a sign to sub to me on YouTube. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. Because I saw that one time when I was going to uh, SmackDown uh, in real life. And I saw someone with a sign on the Titan Tron. And it said to like subscribe to i think it was bro rock i think and i thought that was pretty cool so i decided to add it in my crap then we got AJ styles chilling back there i could Rhodes back there we got biggie right there got uh Braun Strowman supporting the bloodline right there the ones right there uh kane he was holding the one sign but he kept like dropping it so it was really annoying uh and he has a Rey mysterio shirt on we got our fixed edge over there. We got uh, Jake the Snake doing the yes chant. And Ray Studio. And finally, we have Jeff Hardy. Oh, we have Jeff Hardy with this the guy can't, behind me can't see sign. And we got Roman Reigns back there like, what the heck, man? He also has the World Heavyweight Belt. I think he dropped it. But yeah, I made that yesterday. And now, you can get to the figures. Which, when you see back there, you can see the two boxes from them. And obviously, you can guess who these two people are. Oh yeah, actually. And here's the back of it. Using like the side of this air hockey, ta or, uh, air hockey table to like, stand them up in it. And then you can also use the boxes to make them look like it's going up, you know. And then, oh yeah, I also added a chair to sit on while I'm recording these videos because it's pretty annoying standing up. Anyways, so you saw the two boxes and here's the figures. So get right into them themselves. So this is surprisingly, I, I'll get into Alexa Bliss first. Uh, so this is surprisingly my first woman's wrestling figure. Uh, so I I actually pretty like it how I pretty, I like it pretty much how uh, this Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss is um, my first one because it would probably be on my wish list once I actually start collecting a bunch of them. But the one freaking problem I have is like her legs, like her thighs are like very intense, like, like huge and they're kind of weird. But other than that. Uh, I say the figure's great. Uh, we got the feet. <laughs> um, her accessories are pretty good. She has this head swap, and then she has this head swap with her accessories. We have this happy one, and then we have the evil one that's already on her head. I don't think this one looks, I mean, I think it looks like her, but, like, she also looks like she's a who. Like, from the Grinch, so, there's that. Then, she has the evil head right there. She has, she has this black shirt and her, like, you know, like, overall 
Souls thing, which is very hard for me to get on, uh, FYI. It's very hard because there's, like, these straps which don't, like, come apart. You have to, like, do that, but and then there is the Velcro right there. She has a wrestling attire uh, underneath that. She has these play and pain uh, mic holding hands or object holding hands. Then she has this pink shirt to wear under under her overalls thing. I don't even know what to call that. I'm just going to call it overalls because that's kind of what it looks like. She has this pink one, and usually if I have the pink one, I use that swap head because it like it's happy, and then the black one is with that because it fits the mood more. Then you got the swap of hands. These are freaking like tiny. Like the woman's hands are like so much tinier compared to these hands. I think these are Jake the Snake's hands. Look at this, Jake the Snake's hand. Alexa Bliss's hand. I guess they're not like too smaller, too much smaller, but like, it is, <laughs> um, but yeah, she has the play and pain, uh, hand, if I can find the other one, you know, she can go do her pose like that, yeah, it's pretty cool, I would rate this figure, uh, I'd say, a n eight nine eight or nine out of ten maybe like a nine eight point five nine point five maybe uh but yeah i really like this figure i think it's pretty good as an ultimate edition and yeah the the articulation is pretty good it's like some of it is stiff which is pretty bad but like i can use it you know, like that, and that's pretty stiff. Her legs, I think, are okay. And then her, the toe joints, which I'm pretty thankful for, aren't, like, loose. Because I think that's, like, one of the most use useless things that you could ever put on a figure. And, yeah, so there's my Alexa Bliss figure. Good focus. And, yeah, so... Next is this Fiend figure, which I really like. This is the one figure I was looking for for a while. I saw it on Ringside Collectibles a couple, like, weeks ago, and I've been wanting it. It's, like, the most wanted one that I've wanted other than... Wanted, wanted, wanted. Um. So, it was this Fiend figure and uh, the John Cena, the Rock. All those other Ultimate Editions are the ones that I wanted. But this is, like, the one... I saw and I was most focused on. Uh, and yeah, I finally got it. I really like it. Um, the one thing I don't like though is I don't know if it's like a ringside exclusive or like an online exclusive. Is there's a different version of this figure? It's literally like the same exact figure, but it comes with the Fiend title belt. And I, I really like the Fiend title belt. You can uh, argue in the comments, I guess. Even though, like, no one watches these videos, I don't care. Uh, but it has the Fiend title belt for the figures, obviously. And it, I actually like, really like the Fiend figure. I think it's, like, unique. It looks weird, but that's why I like it. And uh, it's it was supposed to come with this figure. It, was, it, was, it comes with this figure, but not this figure. It was, like, there's two, di ah, there's two different ones. Like, there's this figure, the same figure, but with the title belt and i wanted that one but this one was in the store and i'm like oh my god this is gonna be my only chance to get it so i'm gonna get it and that's what i did and that's also uh i'll i'll just have to like buy the the fiend title separate or i'll have to make it which will go bad same with uh the alexa bliss i will I want to buy it or, like, make it. I don't know if it's an actual thing and it comes with a different version of her figure. But with Lily, um, I know she's kind of, like, drifted away from this gimmick. But uh, I think this one's, like, I don't know. I like I like both of her gimmicks. Like, the Alexa Bliss, like, the goddess or whatever. And then this one because this one's, like, pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, 
back to this figure. Uh, it doesn't come with a belt, which I'm sad about. But I am to to dry up the sadness, I guess. Uh, is I have the whole figure itself. I'm not gonna buy the same exact figure unless I'm gonna make it like a custom or something, which I probably won't because that's like thirty freaking dollars. Um. But yeah, into the figure. So the figure I really like, I really like his jacket that it comes with. It's like pretty good, fits good, and he has changeable arms and hands. But first, the articulation. The articulation on his like leg is like, I think it's like really good. He has the good legs, which if you do not know, is not a base, like the basic legs. If I can get one of my basics, I'll get Biggie because I see him right here. So this biggie, see how his legs, they only go this way. Which can get annoying at times because you need to open their legs to like do power bombs and whatever. So let me put biggie back there. Oh my god. Too far away. I don't even know if you saw me there, but I did a thumbs up. Anyways... Yeah, he has good legs. The, like, knee articulation, I think, is really good. Right there. I have both legs, obviously. And then his toe joints. His toe, like, articulation, it's kind of loose. But, like, it's... I can deal with it, you know? Uh, but, yeah, and then he has the whole ankle articulation. I don't really use that much. Unless I'm really doing a pose. Anyways. So, he comes with two different pairs of hands. So, he has the hurt and heel hands. And, uh, you can see that these arms match his jacket. But, you can take off his jacket and rip off his arms, which is kind of weird. Because, what if, like, he'd lose the arms and then he's just, like, he's worthless now. He's just, like, the worm now. You know, I don't know what that was. but yeah, so you can take off his arms. He has a torso articulation right there, and then you get his other arms, which has the other pair of hands on them. They have the um, heart and heel hands, obviously, but like the mic holding, object holding hands. Heel goes on here, I think, right? Yep, put these on. It should be good. I hate like when they're loose and then like if I are doing something with them they just fall off and you're like frick. Cause sometimes there's no pop. Like especially with these head changes on both of these figures, like if you put on like for this Alexa Blitz figure, if you put on this head, it pops, but if you put on that head, it doesn't pop, so you don't know like when it's on. And same with this, I forgot which heads, but yeah. But yeah, so he has this classic rubber jacket you know pretty good high quality because like it has like all these wrinkles and all the like uh details are actually like not just painted on so yeah yes both these hands uh the articulation on the arms are pretty good he has this uh arm swap or head swap um so here's this head this one's just the classic head one thing that kind of annoys me, even though, like, you can't even see it at all, and there's nothing to do about it, is, like, if you look closely, you can see, like, lips in his mouth, because, like, it's not his actual mouth, obviously. It's pretty hard to see. Unless I'm just, like, I I think it, I see it. Yeah, like, see, it's like, right in his mouth. Anyways, I'm going to show you this head swap, and this head swap, I think, is cool but like it's kind of like weird <laughs> like i like the hair on it because it's it's on the side but like his like mouth opens and i don't think the fiend the fiend's mouth doesn't open does it maybe it does maybe that's what that is maybe it's like a joint to like open it i don't know 
but yeah, I like both of these heads. I just wish this head uh, had like a same thing, like the same thing, but the hair was to the side, like this figure, for this head, because I like this head better. But yeah, I like this one, because the other one looks like evil, even though they both look evil, because that's like what he is, but, but like, see, watch, I'm going to put this head on, and you're either going to hear a snap or not hear a snap. See, it was on there. Oh, there we go. No, it wasn't. But see, you heard that snap. You heard that pop. But now you're going to put on this head, and you're not. So you don't hear it. It's, it's nowhere to be found. Unless it's just, like, not going on all the way. Which I don't know how to make it go on all the way. But yeah. So I got both of these figures at Target uh, like two days ago. And I was like amazed. I was shocked. Because one, I got it. And it was like my most successful toy hunt that I've had ever. Um, and two... It, like, there was only one of each of these. There was one Ultimate Edition Batista, one Ultimate Edition Alex Bliss, and one Ultimate Edition Fiend. I got these two. I already have the Batista. And, yeah, I was just like, oh my god. Like, I was like, I thought I was so lucky, which I am. But maybe, like, I haven't seen them in stock, like, ever. I think I've seen the Alex Bliss in stock ones. Uh, they had, like, the tag on, like... You know where it shows the price, like on the, on the shelf, like where you see it right there, and it, it had WWE Alexa Bliss action figure or whatever, and it was never there, uh, but it was there at that time, and they were both like kind of hidden. They were like in like the pile of like random stuff, like on the shelf, cause that shelf was messy. But then I cleaned it up, so next time I go, I'll see if it's still clean. But yeah, next on my list to get stuff is weapons. Like, I still want the weapons. Uh, I don't think I've ever talked about this. But I do want weapons for, like, figures just to, like, play with on my own or to make uh, videos, like, intense videos. Uh, weapons as in tables, ladders, chairs. Uh, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to buy them from Ringside because they have a good, like, deal on a pack of two chairs, one ladder, and one table. They come in different colors. There's like a brown one, I think. Maybe no, I don't think there's a brown one. There's a black one, a silver one. Maybe it is brown. I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna get the silver one because I have paint. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, so I'm gonna get the silver one because I want the ladders to be silver, like the real one, not the AEW one. Uh, because I know the AEW ladders are like black, but the WWE ones are silver, or at least they've been this whole time that I've been watching. Uh, so I'm going to get that just for the ladder, and then I have black paint, which I'm going to paint the chairs black, uh, and then I'm going to paint the legs of the table black, and I have brown paint to paint the top of the table brown. Did I say black? Brown. Um, and... Yeah, and the good thing is, uh, I think on the chairs, uh, like, right here, it's either, it's either, like, right here or right here, they have, like, ringside collectibles or whatever, like, their logo on there, which I would be fine with, but, like, I'd rather it just be, like, plain like this one, and the thing is, I don't know what I'm gonna use this one for, because, uh, Cause this one's gonna be different from all the other ones. I know that it's a, it, I know it's a different design from this one in ringside. And yeah, uh, it comes with two chairs in one pack, and then one of the other stuff. So I don't know what to do for that. I don't know why I'm gonna have like a lot of chairs, so I'll have five, including that. One, right? Yeah. Because I think I'm going to get two packs because I want 
two ladders at least, uh, two tables at least, and I don't care about the chairs. Like, I need chairs. So, I think the amount that I'm going to get is good, but, like, I think I only need, like, two or three. Because I want to make one chair, a barbed wire chair with, like, some wire, you know, like, tie some knots in it, and then, like, tie it around the chair, and then it's a barbed wire chair. And I think that'll be pretty cool. And then I need a marker so I can put blood on them. And yeah, th that will only be for videos because there's no point of like playing with the figures just regularly. Uh, and putting some red marker on them for two minutes while you're playing with them and then washing off. So, yeah, that's really all I have to update you guys. Uh, so, yeah, let me know in the comments if you are watching this. Probably not even watching this. Nobody is, probably, which is sad. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys would like on the crowd. Like, if you want, like, a custom uh, sign for you guys or, like, for a superstar wrestler. Or really anything you would like someone to be like doing, maybe like a pose on there. Uh, let me know what matches you would want to see for a video. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'll rate the Fiend figure 9 out of 10. Alexa Bliss figure like 8 out of 10 maybe, 8.5 out of 10. And yeah, so... And maybe a month, I'll start making videos. And then maybe I'll start a universe. And uh, then we'll have we'll start to have women's matches, women's title matches. Hopefully, I can get the universal title soon, fiend title soon, and the world heavyweight title soon, or the WWE title. Cause I had the I have the big gold title with this came with the Batista and I have the TNT title so hopefully I can get some more of those I want some tag team uh, figures because I'm only doing singles matches and I think it'd be cool to have tag team matches and then I want the weapons for more extreme matches because sometimes it's pretty boring I want to remaster my entrance and finalize the entrance and yeah, so I kind of stretched this video out a while. I didn't make this video a time before this, but then it just closed out my camera because once you once you don't like do anything, like press any of the buttons on the camera, I'm recording on my phone. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm keeping it so still, if it, you see my, hold on, I know we saw it on the wall before. See right there? Right there. I'm recording on a tripod. I don't know why you guys have to see that. I could have just told you. But, yeah, that's how I'm keeping it so still and using both my hands. But, yeah, I would recommend buying Fiend. Maybe uh, Alexa Bliss. Because I don't see any other creators, TikTok creators, YouTube creators, uh, use women's figures that much. Like, really only on TikTok. I've seen, like... Uh, I don't even know who I've seen, but I have, I have seen do unboxing and I actually do collect them. Uh, but I haven't seen any of like these other creators um on TikTok doing women's matches. So yeah, my phone's about to die. You may have heard, you may have heard that vibration. Uh, because recording takes a lot of battery. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.